Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Promise Neverland season 2 episode number 2. Okay, uh, the previous episode, uh, it was uh, a good start. Uh, we saw like two demons, I think two of them, uh, who were probably going to help uh, Emma and uh, like all of them, all of the kids. And like they took them to their base and uh, like obviously Emma and like Ray are extremely suspicious of them and <clears throat> we'll see like uh, in this uh, like episode we're probably going to see what their actual intentions are and why they are helping them uh, who they are why are they like uh, like going against the other demons like uh, like if they are helping like Emma and the kids that means they are technically like going against the other demons so why is that is there a reason for that like all of these questions uh, we're probably going to get in the like upcoming upcoming episode uh, even if like uh, not in this episode we're probably going to get all of them later on and uh, like yeah like that's a big question like why like why are they helping them and as far as you can say uh, see that uh, there are only two of them so uh, so like it's not as if like they're a big organization or something they're just two like two demon so yeah a lot of questions and uh, like do they actually know anything about uh, Minerva? So that's also another question. So let's see uh, what actually happens. And we also kind of got to see the outside world, kind of. We got to see a forest, that was it. But like now we at least know that, yeah, like, uh, like at least the outside world is probably normal like i was kind of expecting something else like i did like i was probably expecting some kind of ruins or something like i kind of uh, like expected a post apocalyptic like uh, setting but when they like went outside the wall uh, it was like there's like a big forest so uh, yeah so <clears throat> let's see let's see what this is about so without further ado um let's get started with um, episode number 2 of promise level land season 2 Alright, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, the opening from the get-go. Let's go. <coughs> um, another thing. Uh, Promised Neverland has ended, it, hasn't it? Like, I'm talking about the manga. Like, I think it has ended. And, uh, like, to like help myself not spoiling, uh, I have not, like, checked out anything about, like, regarding Promised Neverland. Because I'm sure, like, if I pr type Promised Neverland on the internet, I'm sure some spoilers will, like, pop out. So, just to, like, not get in that, <laughs> I have not like not even searched anything like regarding Promise Neverland. I'm just waiting for the anime to like end. I'm sure like this will like uh, like all of the like source material has been like uh, completed. So I'm uh, sure like they'll probably uh, like plan on completing the anime as well. Uh, so it'll probably like get a few more seasons. I'm guessing. I'm not sure how much like uh, the anime is at which portion the like anime is at in the manga so I'm guessing there are a, f a few uh, even uh, like a lot of things more to adapt so I think it will take more than one season two or three seasons it will take more so let's see <coughs> okay let's listen to what they actually have to say <coughs> <clears throat> oh. Oh yeah. No, I don't think so. Mujika, her name is Mujika. Okay, they are like safe. Um, okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, 
Okay. Oh, so wait a minute. Were they not? Uh, okay, they look pretty um fine. Mujika and Sonju. So what do you eat? Normal vegetables? And chickens? Yeah, like what happened when they were like unconscious? What are those? Hmm. I don't know. I hope I think they're good, but they must have some kind of an in, like intention. Okay, they're praying. Demons are praying. All right. Oh yeah, they have not eaten for a long time. Like proper food. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, like they need to know what your actual intention is. Hmm, yeah, that's like natural. Okay, so why are you different? Oh, okay. Oh, only human. Wait, demons as well? Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, that's a like a weird reason, but okay. Oh uh, yeah. The main questions. What? Uh, excuse me. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Huh? Oh my god. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, to provide humans for them? In case... Oh. Oh, okay. The demon side of that world.
Oh my god. Oh. Okay, I'm getting what. So they're more like sacrifices. And used as kind of like cattle. And the other humans are living peacefully. Okay, this is really messed up. So they're like the like sacrificial pawns. Oh, they're happy. What? But still, like. Uh, okay, calm down. But. And even if you were able to go, like, would the humans accept you? Oh no, I don't think the humans will be as expect uh, like accepting as they are thinking. Like they can disguise themselves and like mix in the human world. Okay, so Oh no. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, like Yeah. Um, I don't think Okay, yeah, I kind of forgot like Emma is like that. She wants to save everyone I don't think it's that easy like I doubt the humans are going to accept you Yeah, like Like, you're forgetting the humans sacrificed you for their own, like, safety. So they won't accept you. Like, worse c comes, they might, like, hand you over. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, it'll take time, but it's more safer. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, survival skills. All right. Well, they're helping them quite a bit. What? <laughs> Wait, what's this change in personality?
Okay. Okay, yep, better listen to her. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the horse is nodding as well. Yeah, like they already lost normal. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Oh. Ha <laughs> Wow, Ray cooking. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. No, I must miss something else. Okay, no, no, nothing, nothing. I don't know, I feel like everything is a little bit too happy, like... Like, I'm having a bad feeling, yeah. Uh, okay, let's... Hmm, I don't know, like, I don't know why, but I have this, like, weird feeling, like, everything is going too, like, perfectly, and this is, like, promised Neverland, and they always have a twist in the end. Okay. Hmm. Everything's okay up until now. Okay, let's see the actual outside world. Like, this is just a forest. And there are more. Pursuers. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Still a living thing. Hmm.
Okay. Okay. Damn, that's like extremely far. Oh no, yeah, D do not like, like do not look at the prey in its eyes. You can never look at the prey in its eyes. I think another, there was like this another anime where it kind of said that, like if you want to kill a thing, a, like living thing, you should never like look at its eyes. Like, it will like kind of startle you, like rattle you and you won't be able to do that, like get the kill. Upna. Oh, this is, this is that thing that they used. Like the demons used. Oh. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. They're like the same. But for the uh, demons, I don't think that's the case. Like, these guys, they will have, they are like bound, like they are forced to eat like animals. Otherwise, oh my, God. yeah. Talking about Connie. Oh, that's so. That doesn't make it any better. Okay. That Gupna affected him a lot more than she thought. Oh, that's the end. Yeah. Okay, thankfully, <laughs> no, like, twist came in. I was thinking maybe, like, something's going to happen in the end. Like, everything is going too, like, peacefully and, like, too perfectly. So, I don't know, I, like, I had this feeling that maybe something's going to go wrong in the end. Mm. At least not this episode, I'm guessing. Because I think maybe something will happen in the next or like in the upcoming episode. Because uh, the demons, they kind of like uh, found that like thing that Ray like um, inscribed in the tree. So let's see.
Okay, uh, like these two demons, uh, Sonju and what was the name? Um, I forgot. Anyways, uh, I'll probably remember in the few episodes as as we get to know them, know them more. I'll probably remember her name as well. Uh, uh, the two demons, they are. Okay, so here's the thing. They are not eating them because their religion forbids them to. So, and they also said something about like they eat like everything other than a human. So I kind of said that that does that mean like demons as well? Like, like are they cannibalistic? I'm not sure. Like otherwise, why would they say something like uh, are the only other than demon we like other than humans we eat everything, and like. Like what actually is the religion then? That means like uh, there's like this kind of religious like things in the demon world as well. And I'm guessing uh, like there are more than one religion and because obviously like these two like demons do not eat human. But there are a lot of other demons that like eat humans. So I'm guessing they are either like not in any religion or they are like in an, any other religion which is probably which has some other like guidelines or other rules uh, and uh, like those that like those religions do not forbid like eat themselves like them from eating human meat and yeah okay and another thing is like um so we kind of got uh, the background of the world here like I like I always thought like what the actual hell happened does the uh, like demons control the humans does the demons rule over the humans uh, it turns out it was not that uh, this is uh, something really like uh, simple and like really um disturbing like the way the their world is actually working um the disturbing part is that like it just like the thing is that so they like fought against each other the humans and the demons and like because of their like casualties that were happening they thought that we should probably stop fighting and they stopped had a discussion divided the world into two and like in one part of the world the demons live in the other part of the world the humans live now the part in the part where the demons live uh like the humans just so like as a gift like as a gift for the alliance they provided the demons with I'm guessing a couple of thousands of humans now just so that the demons do not like mess with the humans they like like gifted them those humans and the things that the demons are doing is like if they aid the humans that would be it so they don't do that they like uh, take the humans uh, like made this kind of like uh, like orphanages or like I'm feeling really weird to say it's feeling really weird to see but I I have to say uh, it's like cattle ranches like the orphanages are now they like they cannot kill every each and every human so they are like uh, in the orphanages they're like uh, like appointing a mother of the orphanage and like the mother like looks after the children and uh, like uh, then like uh, some of like uh, some of the ch from the children some of them are also like uh, taken in as other like potential mothers as well and they are like made to procreate and uh, get pregnant and give birth to more humans which are again taken from them and put in the ranch the same thing that uh, that happened to Isabella like uh, she had Ray and that same Ray is uh, uh, like a member of the orphanage that she is running so I'm guessing to like uh, for the like uh, to keep the food of the humans coming and like not completely like destroying every one of them they have like taken this kind of a method like they do not kill every one of them they just like keep a few of them for them to like reproduce and like uh, after they like reproduce they like take them and put them in the ranch ranch again not ranch but the like orphanage like that's what they are doing and yeah like this is like a weird thing and 
so like in the humans point of view they made a necessary sacrifice just so that they can live in peace and no more like wars happen and the demons are also like kept uh, calm and uh, like like mind keep them minding their own business so I don't know actually what to feel about the other humans who made, who made a sacrifice like this because I don't think like uh, they were like they had any choice I think they like they did not have any choice they had to do this I'm not sure what actually happened but as far as I can say I think they like they were like made to make this sacrifice just so that they can live in peace and um yeah and i'm like i'm still not sure if like the demons really like uh keep their promise and do not mess with the other humans like who knows maybe one or two demons like go into the human territories and like kidnap some people once or twice like that can easily happen but like in like official like words they are at peace and they have this like kind of a non like aggression treaty between them so yeah and like one thing that really like is quite disturbing about this anime is the children you know why i'm telling this because like another kind like i really felt a little bit of a concern in this ep episode where like when sonju was telling them about like these humans that uh like made them as sacrifices and like uh like their ancestors that is like emma's ancestors were like treated as gifts for like these demons like they were just like they were treated as food for the demons and like gifted to the demons now when they were saying this i was feeling uncomfortable but the way emma and ray reacted like they were overjoyed at the thought that there are humans who were living like there's like an other place where there are humans and they have a functional society now they never even like it's really weird to think like they did not even have the slightest grudge against the humans for like uh treating them as sacrifices like they were overjoyed just to know that yeah there were humans living now this is really like this really made me uncomfortable as to like just how the thought process are like as to how they have been like brought up from childhood and like it's really scary like uh, the way like the subtle way that this anime like kind of like showed that in this episode like they don't even have any kind of uh, grudge against the humans they're just happy to know that yeah there are humans living in it and they are like they are at the like and they're also thinking that yeah if we go maybe like the main humans will like accept us with like open arms which i doubt will happen and i'm guessing they don't don't even think like like they're like i don't know like they're um like the children's uh thought process is extremely simple and extremely um uh what can i say pure but in a like weird disturbing way which is kind of like the whole theme of promise neverland and this is like a really like bone chilling kind of thing that they actually did in this episode like when they like get, got suddenly got overjoyed that yeah the humans are alive but they didn't even think that yeah these were the same humans that left us they that made us as a sacrifice like damn that was something and um yeah and another thing that i was saying is like i doubt the humans will accept them because obviously they are planning to take each and every person from their uh, like orphanages and uh, go to the like human like settlements the human part of the world now obviously there will definitely be people who will be sympathetic towards them but i think majority of the people will not be because they will like like immediately that they're, they're going to think that oh my god uh, these people like these kids came from the uh, like demon side from to here now the demons will be angry at that and like the humans will sudden like at that time the humans will only think of like saving themselves and they will probably not accept them or some might even like go and like inform the demons about their locations and say that yeah like these children have like run 
like reflect from your place uh, come and take them and don't harm us stuff like this like just to save their own uh, selves they're probably going to sacrifice them again like I'm sure this is going to happen uh, I don't know but obviously Emma and Ray they're like like their kids and they obviously uh, do not uh, like like they're pure in heart in uh, like extremely uh, like like frightening amount of like uh, in a frightening degree they're pure so they are not even like thinking in that like direction they are just thinking that yeah like humans are alive if we go they'll probably like welcome us in with open arms so yeah so like i've also seen like in season one also we also saw this and, like the like amount of uh, like uh, devotion and the amount of pureness of heart that emma uh, has like she like like we saw her like extremely painful when she got to know that Isabella that the mom that she respected so much were actually kind of uh, uh, like a uh, supervisor for the like demons and like she provide the demons with fresh food and yeah like Emma like they obviously they are like little children and uh, Isabella like one thing like Isabella really did good was like brought them up well like they have all of the children have good manners they are extremely good like children so obviously emma who was also like brought up by isabella she is extremely good at heart extremely pure at heart so she was extremely like uh like did not like was not ex like could not accept that isabella was the person who kind of betrayed them same thing here she is not even thinking that maybe the humans will not accept us like her thought person didn't even go there so yeah and what else in this episode and we've got really to, like we got nothing to know about the like demons in this like episode the two demons sonju and the girl but uh i don't know like um as far as i can say like they're probably fine but like they're yeah they're probably okay uh they are most probably um uh, not going to harm them and pretty trustworthy i'm guessing as well but like in the of the whole episode i kind of had this feeling maybe they're going to betray them in the end but it turns out no they are just like some like uh travelers who just like go from one place to another and uh yeah and i like the way like they talked and like uh from like observing their behavior I don't think they're bad maybe like most prob probably they're good like good people uh, good demons <laughs> and yeah maybe they'll become like good allies i don't know how this like season is going to go but as far as i can like in this episode kind of like showed us that they're like going to part ways soon maybe in the next episode so uh let's see what actually happens and yeah oh also another thing uh like this is like a forest there so uh so the outside world is the same like it's just like like i i always had this kind of a thought like maybe uh, after the forest they will come into a place where it will be kind of like uh all destroyed ruins or something or maybe some post-apocalyptic setting uh, maybe like humanity has almost been destroyed or something uh, demons are like ruling over them something like that but turns out this is nothing so extravagant everything is pretty normal they just like divided the world into two and like in one part the demons leave and the other part the humans leave and yeah and they have to like go into the humans portion so that's a pretty tough job like yeah yeah that's a pretty like difficult thing uh, obviously like but emma ray i can like easily like uh, surpass like uh like uh, like like out maneuver and like run away but they're like children's with them as well and they're also planning to bring the other children from the orphanages and like uh uh the like the children who they have left in like isabella's orphanage as well so before they are like shipped off so yeah damn like like thinking about it like in a like a, in a uh, like 
like in an empty mind thinking about it the setting of this anime is pretty damn dark like just imagine like the demons are keeping humans as cattle breeding them and then like when they their brain is developed enough they just like order humans as food just like we order like like fast food from a restaurant or from uh, like I don't know some fast food joint they like they're doing the same thing instead it's just humans they're ordering them and eating them oh my god Ugh. okay and yeah like an another thing that this episode kind of showed was that we're also kind of doing the same thing we're killing the like animals to eat it like we directly do not kill them but there is someone somewhere there who are like killing animals just so that we can eat so but obviously like uh, yeah it's kind of like that like we also like uh, are eating for like as them like stuff as luxury items like uh, obviously we do not need to eat meat uh, we can like eat like vegetables and like keep alive be alive but still we like prefer meat to like uh, other food because obviously of like the like flavor and everything so kind of like makes us think but still like uh, obviously like in in this show the kids are like killing the animals for their own survival it's completely different from the like demons who are just killing for like i don't know like for uh like like for some like uh, like killing as a uh like killing them as like some kind of a food like um just so that they can have like some good like human brain but these like uh, the kids are killing animals for their survival so it's kind of different for them uh like why are we feeling bad for these kids here like it's kind of the same like demons are eating humans just like we eat like chickens like or like like uh, beef ports whatever so why are we feeling bad for them because these children have feelings they are like human beings so we're feeling bad for them but i think in the like thought process of a demon that is not the case they just like treat the children as cattle just like also we kind of like treat cattle as well so like, it's kind of like the perception like how like people look at it like yeah it's kind of like a, the thing is really deep like uh, the whole setting of this story and yeah i should probably stop now like it's going into like too much complicated stuff uh, my brain won't be able to handle this anyways i should probably stop anyways guys thank you guys for watching uh this is uh promise neverland uh season two episode number two so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed please uh, consider doing so and comment down below anything about this episode, anything in general you want to say, I'll be sure to check them out. So, yeah guys, uh, I'll be back with another new episode of Promise Neverland uh, next week, same time. So, see you then, and until then, goodbye, and have a nice day.